Good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good and his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good and his mercy endureth forever. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Praise ye the Lord. This is the day the Lord hath made. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it. It's a wonderful day. It's a marvelous day. It's a day that we've never seen before. And having therefore obtained help from God, we continue on to this day, witnessing to those both great and small. Well, you're welcome. I'm your host this morning, co-founder, pastor of the Gospel Truth Apostolic Ministry and Gary, and we are excited for Sunday school. Everybody ought to go to Sunday school. So as we're here this morning live, amen, and streaming for you that are incapacitated for whatever reason, amen, we want you to like and share the good news, hallelujah, that we can tell the men and women, boys and girls all over the world, hallelujah, about our God and the wonderful things that he does for us as we continue to seek him in the beauty of holiness. This is so wonderful today. And I say that because through all the storms, you know, the hurricanes, uh, Hurricane Francine did all that damage and you know, and then all the fires in California, we are so blessed this morning to have a roof over our head, hallelujah, not to be running from fires, oh yes, we're blessed, and we're blessed also, hallelujah, to have our floors dry, hallelujah, our homes are not flooded, we're blessed. And certainly we pray for all of our loved ones near and far that are going through in these devastating times. Hallelujah. We want you to know today that God is great. Hallelujah. And he's greatly to be praised. And he is here with us today as we continue to seek him in the beauty of holiness. Amen. So as you're here, come on in the room. We're getting ready to dive in, hallelujah, to this lesson, this Sunday school lesson. We're in chapter 6 this morning of 2 Corinthians, and we're working with this morning verses 1 through 7. Yes, 1 through 7, hallelujah. So we're excited that God continues to do great and marvelous things for us. Good morning, good morning. Come on in the house, come on in the house. Yes, yes, yes. Come on in the house this morning, like and share. We're so grateful, hallelujah, for each of you that are joining us this morning. Sister Tiana, God bless you this morning. It's a good day, this is a blessed day. I tell you, we're excited because God counted us Hallelujah, worthy to be on the wake-up list this morning. Many started out with us last week, Zion. They didn't make it. But we're here to glorify and magnify the name of the Lord, to adore him. Brother Larry, my dear one, listen. It's not over till God says it's over. So for you, just hold your head up. Keep your praises going up to the almighty God because I'm inclined to believe what the old folks of Zion told us years ago that, hey, I know the Lord. <laughs> the old folks used to say that. You remember that? I know the Lord will make a way somehow. Come on here. So we're encouraged in God. Hallelujah. Is everything going our way? Absolutely not. But because God is great, he's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Demetrius, I wouldn't take nothing, absolutely nothing for my journey. For God has been so good to us. We've just got to hold on to his unchanging hand. 
Zion. These are the end times. These are the last days. And we must continue. Mm. Listen to me carefully, Jonathan Portis. We must continue to believe the unadulterated word of God. And what's so great about the word, he gives us word for everything. Hallelujah. You don't have to wonder about, oh, Pastor Val, well, can I? Is it okay? Hey, it's written. Thus saith the Lord. It is written. And he's calling for us to be a holy people because he is a holy God. I declare, Evangelist, oh, oh yes, he is. He's holy. <laughs> holy, holy, holy. The angels are bowing before him 24-7, crying, holy, holy. Holy, oh my God, holy is the Lamb of God, Zion. And if we really want to go to that place called heaven, the place where God dwells, hallelujah, then we're going to have to be holy, H-O-L-Y, holy, hallelujah. That's why we have a holy Bible, because it's giving us instructions from earth to glory. And if we, you and I, do what it says, we are guaranteed we're on our way. Hallelujah. Ain't no stopping us now for real. We're on our way and we're excited. Hallelujah, Sister Smith, because God continues to do great things for us. So as we journey on into this lesson, before we go further, let us pray. I know you have seen all the devastation in the land, how it's escalating. As a woman in travail, hallelujah, I got some mothers here online. You know what it means to have a child and how those pains, they may start off all easy, hallelujah. And then before you know it, they're escalating a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. Hey. And Johnny, Tom, Dick, and Harry, Susie, and Sally, they letting you know, I'm ready to get out of here. It's time for me to be born. Well, Zion, that's the way it is. I declare, Chef, hallelujah, God is doing great things for us because we're on our way up. Hallelujah. And as we're on our way up, yet we have instructions to occupy Till he comes. So we yet got to be busy. Hallelujah. We can't just sit on our lords and say, well, he may come today, so I don't have to do nothing. That devil is a liar. We've got to occupy until he comes. So we're excited, Lachey, this morning. Let us pray together. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for being our soon coming king. We thank you, Lord, for being the captain of our souls. We thank you, Lord, for being our redeemer. We know it's in you. We live. It's in you. We have our being, and without you, we're absolutely nothing. Father, we thank you because we can come to you in times of trouble. You have declared, according to your word, you are present help in trouble and father we're in trouble in this world today even more now than ever and father we're coming to you hallelujah to be our peace in the midst of our storm hallelujah to be our shepherd hallelujah as we go through the valleys hallelujah ah and the shadows of death father we thank you for this thy people that are online live here today and we pray that you continue to let the words of my mouth the meditation of my heart be acceptable lord with thee for you are my strength and you are my redeemer and i thank you hallelujah for the words that we're about to speak as we dissect your word for sunday school this morning and i pray for each and every one that's online Lord, that you bless their families. You see the need. You know, oh God, what their families have need of. You know the situations that they face. Hallelujah. The decisions that they must make. Be with them today and forevermore is our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Well, let's go to work, y'all. Hallelujah. Remember to like and share. We want everybody in Sunday school this morning because 
everybody, everybody, everywhere ought to go to Sunday school. Well, let's read our lesson this morning. You got your Bibles, huh? You know we're in Sunday school. You got your Bibles? 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 1 through 7. I'll begin reading. We then, as workers together with him, beseech ye also that ye receive not the grace of God in vain. For he said, I have heard thee in a time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I secured thee. Behold now, in the accepted time, behold, now is the day of salvation, giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed, but in all things approving ourselves as the ministers of God in patience, in afflictions, in necessities, in distresses, huh? in stripes, in imprisonments, in tumults, in laborers, in watchings, in fastings, by pureness, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Ghost, by love unfeigned, by the word of truth, by the power of God, by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left. <laughs> May the Lord add a blessing to the readers, the hearers, and the doers of his holy word. I declare to you this morning, Zion, Apostle Paul is getting us ready. <laughs> if we take heed to these writings, he is getting us ready for that great day. Why? Because he's sharing with us what it's going to take for your ministry to be approved by the almighty God. He's letting you know, he's letting me know, hey, this is what I've been through. This is what's going on, hallelujah, and this is what it's gonna be if we're gonna make it, hallelujah. So we're gonna entitle this lesson, Marks of a Faithful Ministry. Mm. Marks of a Faithful Ministry. Is your ministry hallelujah, can be declared that it is approved by God, hallelujah, that I'm certain you have the same marks or many of them that Apostle Paul is sharing with us today. Everything, Brother Malcolm, is not going to be peaches and cream. Every day is not going to be, hey, howdy, howdy, it's a good day. Hallelujah. Some days are going to be Days of devastation. Hmm? Days of those calls that you don't want to get at 2 o'clock in the morning. Hallelujah. Days, hallelujah, of grief and sorrow. Days of fasting, denying ourselves the pleasures of life that we may get closer to the King of Kings. We're talking about the marks this morning of a faithful ministry. Let the church shout hallelujah because we're in Sunday school this morning. Hallelujah. Well, let's go to work. Sunday school, Sunday school. Hallelujah. Apostle Paul here, even in this first verse, says, we then, as workers together with him, beseech you that ye receive not the grace of God in vain, Zion, let all of us keep in mind, God gives us grace to accomplish the mission, the mandate that he has ordained for our life, the ministry. He gives us grace to go through because sometimes you're going to have to go through hardness. Oh, yes, you are. Some days you're going to have to go through that are lean. Huh? I was talking to a sister the other day and she was saying, well, you know, Pastor Val, you know, everybody don't have this and everybody don't have that. I said, I understand that. <laughs> I said, I have not always had. Huh? So therefore, I understand what it means to have and to have not. 
But I know one thing, as I told her about the story of the bishop was saying one day, hallelujah, how the lady didn't have anything to give and she wanted to give in the service. Hallelujah. She didn't even have the widows too much. She, she didn't have it. Hallelujah. But she said, that that I have, I'm going to share. And she took the button off her jacket and put it in the pan. She said, I can't walk out of here without giving God something. And that's why Zion, the Bible declares, even when we come to the house of God, we should already have prepared a gift to bring the king. He is the king of kings and lord of lords. We're talking about this morning marks of a faithful ministry. See, if you want to be faithful to the Lord, you got to come with it all. You got to come, as they say, full turkey. You got to come with it all. You can't be lukewarm. No, no, no. He not accepting that. Maybe Billy and Sally and Tom and Dick and Harry may accept it, but God said, I want you hot. Hallelujah. I want you on fire for me because we have souls that are in need to be saved in this day. You know, it's a devastation when you have witnessed to folks, because those of you that have the Holy Ghost, you know that the scripture says in Acts 1.8, that after the Holy Ghost has come, you shall receive power, power to be my witnesses. So we're witnesses, hallelujah. So that means we have to tell somebody about what the Lord did for us. We have to tell somebody how the Lord went way, way, way down in the Maori crate to bring us up. I know some of you pretty much, you know, you, you, you was pretty much a good, 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 goody to you anyway. Mm. But for those of us that were way, way, way down in the Maori clay, God had to go way down. But he brought us up and placed our feet on a rock to stay. Come on, somebody ought to type on the comment line, God did it for me. <laughs> and see, that's a witness. Because if he did it for you, he could do it for me. If he did it for me, he could do it for Tom, Dick, and Harry, and Susie, and Sally. It's no secret, I hold one, heard one of those mothers of Zion say, what God can do. For what he's done for others, he'll do the same, same thing for you. That's why we got to hold fast, Zion, as we're in cooperation with God to get this message across. It's a devastation, Evangelist Cherry. It's a devastation, Evangelist Sandra, when we see these funeral services going forth and we know the people never did do anything for the Lord that we saw. They lived, hallelujah, like one of I heard our former bishop said, like junkyard dogs, but how they just put them in heaven anyway. But let me tell you something about that picture. You or I have a heaven or hell to put anybody in, but one thing for certain, your life is going to speak for you in that day. And there's going to be a video that God has of your life. And he going to say, who hindered you that you did not obey the truth? Zion, we're talking about marks of a faithful ministry. We must be faithful. We cannot do what the heathen does and then declare, oh, I'm saved. I'm on my way to heaven. Because you're fooling yourself. Huh? You are deceived. You're being tricked and bamboozled. And that's why we're here on this live this morning to tell you the truth. Hallelujah. According to the scriptures. Not my opinion. Not what I think. But it's according to the scriptures. Here a little. There a little. Ah, oh, my God, we got to get it like thus saith the Lord. Let the church shout hallelujah. I know, I know, I know you want a scripture, hallelujah, because I am the signature preacher that give it to you. Line upon line, precept upon precept, hallelujah. Here a little, mm. and there a little. We got to say what thus saith the Lord. 
we must do what thus saith the Lord. And Apostle Paul, he's letting us know, Zion, hallelujah, as we are ambassadors for Christ, he's the one that have sent us out, hallelujah, into the hedges, into the highways, to compel them, y'all come on in, it's late in the day, every day practically you wake up, it's been a crash, two or three people have lost their act, their, uh, their life in a crash. They didn't have an idea that when they got in that vehicle, they wouldn't make it to their destination. So when you and I make it to the destination, the Lord have prompted us to do or a place to go, you ought to tell the Lord thank you. And this is a good place for you to help me teach Sunday school this morning and tell the Lord, thank you. You've been good to me, Lord. You've been good to me, hallelujah. Because I didn't have to make it to my destination this morning. But you saw fit to protect me from seen and unseen danger. All right, you got your Bibles, hallelujah. Let's go to the scripture this morning. Because we're doing this in cooperation with our King the King of Kings, and the Lord of Lords. The Bible declares, hallelujah. Ah, we got our scriptures here, hallelujah, in uh, 1 Samuel. Hmm? You got your Bibles? 1 Samuel, chapter 14, verse 45. Let's read that. And the people said unto Saul, Shall Jonathan die, who hath wrought this great salvation to Israel? God forbid. As the Lord liveth, there shall not one hair of his head fail to the ground. For he hath wrought with God this day. So the people rescued Jonathan, that he died not. When you do what thus saith the Lord, God has got somebody, Brother Redmond, to stand up and to be on your side. He's got somebody, hallelujah, ah, to say, I know the life he lived. I know the life she lived. We cannot, hallelujah, ah, hallelujah, even though the scandal is down the avenue, we cannot allow that to separate us. Hallelujah, from fellowship. And why? Because we know the lifestyle that he or she lived. Huh? We got to protect, hallelujah, what is ours in the family. Why? Because iron sharpens iron. We're in this together, the family of God. The Bible says if you're his, hallelujah, he is the good shepherd. He's going to look out for us. He's going to protect us. From that wicked one. Let the church shout hallelujah. Ah, we're speaking of this morning. Cooperation. Hmm? We're, we're in this with the Lord, huh? We're yet his extended ministry. Hallelujah. We're his hands, his feet, yet working in the field. Hallelujah. Laborers. Hallelujah. What if the Bible says that said the harvest is truly great, huh? But the laborers. They're few. So those of us that are in the vineyard working, hallelujah, we've got to tell it. So we can save some souls, hallelujah. Because whether we realize it or not, mm, whether the rapture takes place this evening, tomorrow night, whether it takes place five years from now or ten years from now, he may call our name today. And will you be ready? See, that's what's important. Will you be ready when he calls your name? Hallelujah, because some of us are going to go by the way of the grave. Oh, yes, we are. We're going to bury some folk, no doubt about it. Hallelujah. And some of us, when the Lord comes, hallelujah, in the clouds and call for his church, will be yet alive and remain. And he says we're going to be caught up together. Those that are dead in Christ and those of us that are remaining, we're going to be caught up together to meet him in the clouds. And so shall we forever be with him. 
So that's why you have to make sure you're calling an election is sure. You got to make sure, hallelujah, your ears are open so you can hear the trumpet sound. You can hear the voice of the Lord say, come my people. <laughs> See, you can't be all clouded down with all these shenanigans going on down here. Some of this stuff is just a bunch of shenanigans. That, 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 that's all I can say. It's just a bunch of shenanigans. Hallelujah. And if you think with all of that entertainment that's going on in some of these places, I mean, it's like a bunch of noise. I, I just have to turn it off sometimes. I'm like, what kind of noise? What strange sound is this? And it's up to God, see. You may accept it and I may accept it. But God is not accepting anything, hallelujah, that's not his. Because we're in, hallelujah, his camp. We're ambassadors working for him. He's the one that sent us. And another thing you must make sure is that the Lord called you to whatever ministry you are in. That the Lord called you. Because when he calls you to a ministry, the Lord will provide for the vision of the ministry. I know, Zai, I know, I know it's tight. But it's right, the Lord wants to save us for real. Because some of this stuff that's going on, it's just a bunch of foolishness. You know what I'm saying? Hallelujah. Well, let's get another scripture, because I know that was Old Testament. You want a New Testament scripture. Mark, huh? You got your Bible still? We're in Sunday school. Mark chapter 16. Hallelujah. Verse 20. We're in cooperation with God. Huh? Apostle Paul wasn't just running, doing something on his own. He was working under the unction of the almighty God. And we have to do the same. He says here, Mark chapter 16, verse 20. And they went forth and preached everywhere. The Lord working with them. Huh? And confirming the word with signs following. Amen. See, this thing wasn't done, done in no corner. Hallelujah. The Lord, if he's with you, the signs. <laughs> what somebody says, it ought to show some signs. And we must do it, Zion, as God says do it. We cannot afford, hallelujah, to let the works that we do Hallelujah. Be anything other than that of God. It, the, it's too close. The time for his return, the time for him to call our name is too close. We must be ready. We don't know. He says, be ready. Huh? See, we're in the preparation room. That's what church is all about. It's not a social center. It's not a community center. It's not an entertainment center. It's for where you to get fed the word of God, this daily bread, whereas you can grow thereby. Somebody ought to shout hallelujah in Sunday school this morning. Hallelujah. Ah, because the truth that you and I hear is going to set us free. Hallelujah. We're workers together with him. Hallelujah. And we do not want to receive this grace of God in vain. Huh? God's favor on your life, his grace is for you to continue to walk in his ways. He, he wants you to continue to walk in his way down straight street. Huh? You can't jump off and get on Broadway where they doing everything and everything goes, let your hair down and come on here. No, 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 no. Hallelujah. You can't get on Broadway where you can have a husband, a wife, and a boyfriend, and a girlfriend. That's some shenanigans. You can't get on Broadway. You got to stay on straight street where it's tight and right. Walking up the king's highway. Let the church shout hallelujah today. Ah, the Bible is right and somebody's wrong. Hallelujah. Let's move on to verse 2. Hallelujah. Because I get excited and want to park there. Ah, for he hath said, for he saith, I have heard thee in a time accepted, 
and in the day of salvation have I secured thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Zion, we must know is now. I know I get it. Hallelujah. I get it. You're 21 years old, tall, dark, and handsome, and think you got life, hallelujah, in a bottle, and you got the top. But honey, let me tell you today, anything can happen, hallelujah, where your life is snatched out. Hallelujah. You may be 19 or 34, 24, 36. Hallelujah. You think you voluptuous and all of that. But today, hallelujah, God can call you. Hallelujah. Uh, the very day that you think you got it all in order. Hallelujah. He can say, today is your day. And will you be ready? Or will you say, oh, I went to church, but I, 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 I just, I, no excuse. The day you hear my voice, don't harden your heart. This is the day of salvation. This is the day of your deliverance. It's today, Zion. Men and women, boys and girls, all over this land, don't be tricked by all of this, hallelujah, play acting that's going on. Don't be fooled. It's only a play. Hallelujah. Ain't nothing real about it. The only thing real in this world is when you have decided to make the Lord your choice. Everything else, Zion, I declare it's fake. It's fake. It ain't even real. Hallelujah. And you will find that out in the day if you do not accept the Lord on the day that he have called you this day of salvation because we cannot take God's grace for granted hallelujah he lets us know hallelujah that we hallelujah need the Lord like never before he even says here in uh, 2 Corinthians um, chapter 6 right here in verse 16 and what agreement hath the temple of God with idols for ye are the temple of the living God. As God hath said, I will dwell in them and walk in them. I will be their God and they shall be my people. You cannot be people of God. I'm going to say it, I'm going to say it, I'm going to say it until I can't say it no more. And do everything the heathen is doing. Huh? He said in his word, how, how, how can we be in agreement? The temple of God with idols, huh? How can you be in agreement with the God of glory, but yet you making an oath and you swear to the God of idols? God said, no, son, I'm not accepting no two-time lovers. I, he said, you ought to be faithful to me and serve me with your whole heart. All, oh, all oh, you have. Hallelujah. Let the church out. Hallelujah. I'm going to move on so that I don't get stuck there. Hallelujah. But with God's grace, Zion, hallelujah, we got to be determined. Mm. I'm going to go through and I'm going to do it the way he says done. He says for it to be done. Why? Because I'm not at Burger King. I can't have it my way. Huh? We not no little kid. We not a little toddler, two-year-old. Hallelujah, you don't play his game. He take his ball and run down the street crying. That's for some that's shenanigans. The Bible says here, you got your Bibles? Turn to Deuteronomy chapter 8. Hmm? Come on, Sister Lachey. Hallelujah. We got to be, hallelujah, thankful and know, hallelujah, that God's grace is real. Huh? It's real, hallelujah. And God wants us to know that. Hallelujah, according to the scripture. Because it's freely given. Huh? The grace of God is freely given. He loves us so much, he like, hey, I'm going to give you some space to get this. Huh? Because I freely give it to you. You ain't earned it, but I, I'm freely giving it to you. Psalm 84, 11. 
And this grace, it empowers us for service. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I myself, I wonder, how do I do what I do? And all I can say is the grace of God. <laughs> it's the grace of God because I know of myself, it's no way. Hallelujah. But it's the grace of God, Gene, because God, hallelujah, empowers his people. He equips them to do what they need to do. Let the church shout hallelujah. Come on, Zion. I know I'm telling you the truth today according to the scriptures. That's the only way you ought to want it. Hallelujah. He said in his word, hallelujah. Ah, my God, that his grace, it's not given for selfish use. You know how some, me, myself, and I, they ain't shared with nobody. Hallelujah. They want it all for themselves. Hallelujah. I, I'm like, mm -mm, no, wrong spirit there. God has not given us grace to be selfish. But he said to tell everybody, hallelujah, about the goodness of the Lord. He even said in his word, my people, hallelujah, they love to testify. Hallelujah. Because it's commonly among the upright. Those that do good, hey, they want to tell of the goodness of the Lord, what good he did to them. I'm so glad to tell you the Lord woke me up this morning. And when I woke up, hallelujah, I could open my eyes, I could see. I could open my mouth and say, Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Do you know, do you even have a clue how many people didn't wake up this morning? But we woke up, hallelujah, with the God of glory on our side. I tell you, we ought to know who we're in partnership with. Oh, yes, we should. We ought to know who we're in partnership with. Hallelujah. We're talking about this morning in Sunday school, the marks of a faithful ministry. Huh? See, all of us want the Lord to say, Good and faithful servant, enter thou into rest. You've been wonderful, awesome. But if you ain't been good and faithful, he ain't going to say it. It don't matter what your last name is. It don't matter if your name is Clark. He not going to say it if you have not been good and faithful. Whereas your sister girl or your boo, hallelujah, they may tell a little one for you. A little white lie, we call it. It's a lie. But God said, mm-mm, not so. That's why today, while today is called today, you have to make sure that your lamp is trimmed and burning. You have to make sure that you're ready for the bridegroom because he's coming. <laughs> Hallelujah. And the question is, will you be ready? Hallelujah. It's going to take, hallelujah, as we are his disciples, followers of Christ. Hmm. Hallelujah. We're going to have to pray fast, seek his face, hallelujah, know that he is our divine helper. Oh, yes, he is. Our God, hallelujah, is our divine helper. Hallelujah. You got your Bibles, hallelujah. Let's turn our Bibles, hallelujah, to the scripture. Hallelujah. Because, see, we have to know, hallelujah, that as we are followers of Christ, hallelujah, that he's with us. Hallelujah. And he wants the best for us because we're his children. We're his sheep. Hallelujah. The sheep of his pasture. Huh? You got your Bibles? Let's turn our Bibles. Hmm. My God, to Matthew chapter 16, verse 24. Hallelujah. Must Jesus bear the cross alone, Reginald, and the whole world go free? I don't think so. There's a cross for me and there's a cross for you. We all got to carry our share. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, we do according to Matthew 16, 24. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. See, don't think for one moment, hallelujah, 
because you are called and chosen hallelujah that you could just sit on your laurels and hey it's all about me oh no sir wrong answer roll up your sleeves because there's work to be done in the kingdom hallelujah and he wants you hallelujah to take up the mantle and go forward hallelujah don't just sit on your laurels it's time out for that it's time to work there's work to be done if we want the lord to say good and faithful we must be good and faithful hallelujah let the church shout glory hallelujah ah the bible is clear hallelujah when you come unto the lord when you decide because it's a choice that you have to make and when you make that choice lord i want to follow you lord i want to be one of your disciples when you make that choice evangelist surely you got to leave everything leave all why because i'm going to see the king i have made up my mind i'm going to follow him hallelujah ah the bible declares in luke 14 33 you got your bibles god bless you so likewise whatsoever he be of you that forsaketh not all that he hath he cannot be my disciple you got to give it up <laughs> i know i know you want to hold on to this and that but you got to give it up if you want to be his disciple see it's going to cost you something salvation is free but it's going to cost you something to follow the lord you got to give up all that shenanigans situations huh you got to get that stuff up you can't do everything hallelujah those that are not dedicated to the work the ministry of the lord do and then say oh i'm a disciple on oh, sunday you're a follower of christ you putting on your silk dress and your beautiful hat and your three-piece suit and you going to church and live like a junkyard dog all week. Oh no, you fooling yourself. That's what we call deception. See, and that's what's going on in a lot of these churches today. Hallelujah, it's deception. Hallelujah, giving you a cookie crumbled message. Hallelujah so that you can be tickled at your ears so that you can say oh i just love my pastor he just tells me all kind of good stuff but if he haven't told you to denounce sin you better run because in this way of life of holiness god hates sin he hates it and he said he's angry with the wicked every day so it matters not hallelujah whether it's the pastor pope preacher teacher evangelist pastor or whomever if they don't tell you the truth according to the scripture you need to run because you will be deceived and you don't want it to be said too late hallelujah that i didn't listen to that preacher lady on live let the church shout hallelujah this morning mm. So followers of Christ, there's things that we have to do, huh? Hallelujah. You, a true follower of Christ, you got to show some fruit, huh? Mother Ruby, you got to show some fruit. Hallelujah. A true disciple of Christ is going to bear some fruit, huh? What kind of fruit are you bearing? Are you loving, being gentle, kind, long-suffering, huh? Or are you telling somebody a piece of your mind, knowing you only got a little piece anyway? The Bible says in John 15, hmm? let's move forward. John chapter 15, verse 8. Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. So all this stuff, folk going to church on Sunday, church houses packed, hallelujah, and they were at the club, clubbing last night with their husband and their wife and boyfriend and girlfriend, 
shenanigans. Shenanigans. I know it's tight, but it's right. Because straight is the way that leads to holiness. You ain't going on Broadway where everything goes. That devil is a liar. He's a deceiver. Hallelujah. And don't you be caught up in the trap. Come on, Zion. We are God's divine. We're his helper. Hallelujah. And there's a separate time that you have to make your call. Huh? You have to make that decision of the call. Huh? The Lord is calling you. He says, now is the day of salvation. You ought to consider yourself precious. Hallelujah. That the Lord have allowed you, hallelujah, to listen to this live, to go to a church where you can hear the unadulterated word of God, the entire counsel of God, all of the Bible. Hallelujah. Not just I'm going to be blessed, blessed, blessed when I give you $1,000. That devil is a liar. Freely we receive and freely we ought to give. Let the church shout hallelujah today. Ah, oh my God. You got your Bibles? Come on here, Zion. We're going to roll right on through here because our time, hallelujah. Oh, my God. It's fleeting for real. All right. Deuteronomy chapter 13. Let's make it Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 15. We're rolling quickly now. My time is getting away. See, I have set before thee this day life and good and death and evil it's a choice all this stuff well what's gonna happen gonna happen anyway that's some foolishness you gotta choose you this day whom you gonna serve huh god has given you a free will and you must choose am i gonna continue in sin because i was born in sin and shaped in iniquity i came out of my mama's womb line Hallelujah. So am I going to stay that way? Or am I going to be born again of the water and of the spirit? According to the scripture, when Peter stood with the other disciples on the day of Pentecost, hallelujah, when the church doors were officially open and they asked him, what must we do to be saved? And he says, repent every one of you. Huh? And be baptized in that watery grave, hallelujah, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. He said this promise is unto you, is unto your children and to those that are even afar off. Huh? That's what the Bible said. Hallelujah. When the church began, not when some man, hallelujah, started some religion 200, 500, 1,000 years ago. Oh, no, sorry. Come on, y'all. We got it. No, 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 no. We can't have it twisted. We got to get it right because it's late. The day is far spent and the night is at hand, Evangelist Shirley. And we got to get it right, huh? What if the Bible says? Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. I'm still rolling here. Let me hurry along here in Mark 10, 21. Then Jesus, beholding him, loved him and said unto him, One thing thou lacketh. Go thy way. Sell whatsoever thou hast and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven. And come. Take up the cross and follow me. God was talking to the rich one. Hallelujah. Deny yourself. And that's what some of us don't want to do. You cannot be a follower of Christ if you don't deny yourself. This flesh, ha, huh, my God, we got to put it under subjection to the Holy Spirit. Because if you give this flesh everything that it desires, everything that it wants, you're going to be out the will of God. And you won't hear him say, good and faithful. Thanks for sharing. God bless you, Sister Smith. You've got to be good and faithful, Zion. We're going to move along. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Uh, let's roll on the verse. Let me read more so. Hallelujah. 
Ah, the Bible is clear. Hallelujah. Verse 3, giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed. Verse 4, but in all things approving ourselves as the ministers of God in much patience, in affliction, in necessity, in distresses. Go on to verse 5. In stripes, in imprisonment, in tumults, in labors, in watching, in fasting, verse 6, by pureness, huh? By knowledge, hmm? By long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Ghost, by love unfeigned. Closing verse 7, by the word of truth, by the word, by the power of God. By the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left. Zion, come on here. We talking about marks of ministry. You want the Lord to say faithful. You've had a faithful ministry. <laughs> These are some of the things that's, that's a marks that show, hey, you really been, you've been in the trenches. You've been working. You've been doing it. Hallelujah. And now he can say good and faithful. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, because see, you got to make sure, hallelujah, ah, uh, in this lesson, hallelujah, let's see here, this word offense, giving no offense in anything, that's in verse 3, hallelujah, that Greek term is proskoma, P-R-O-S-K-O-M-M-A, and it means any scandal that might cause blame of the gospel ministry, no, no. You got to make sure, hallelujah, mm. if it's a scandal, it's a lie, hallelujah. And you got to keep on living right, doing what thus saith the Lord. Huh. And then, hallelujah, you will be sharing fruits that declare you, your ministry is of faithfulness to God. Zion, this thing ain't done in no corner. Hallelujah. Ah, because see, otherwise, all of that shenanigans that I'm talking about, you are stumbling block to somebody, and God is going to judge you for it. Hallelujah. He said in his word, hallelujah, and I'm speeding along quickly, hallelujah, because my time is just about out. Mm, my God, I don't know where it goes. Ah, the Bible declares, you got your Bible? Turn to um, Isaiah 57, 14. And I'm reading quickly. You can review the video in your private devotion. And shall say, cast ye up, cast ye up, prepare the way, take up the stumbling block out of the way of my people. All these false prophets, false teachers, Hallelujah, they've given them names, hallelujah, all kind of titles. God said, I'm going to remove you. You a stumbling block to my people. Because see, you telling them, hallelujah, that I could grow a whole yard of reefer on the land and, you know, we could smoke pot together and, you know, we're going to be all right. That devil is a liar. You better know the truth according to the scripture and be not deceived by all these false prophets. The Bible said there will be many false prophets in the last day and I declare they everywhere. They everywhere. Deception Zion is everywhere. That's why I tell you every week, open your eyes. Ask the Lord to take the veil off your eyes so you can see these folk. They plan, hallelujah. They're acting. It's all a facade. It's not real. And God is going to remove so many. Hallelujah. Because they got the sign up saying we are church. But they doing every damnable thing in the church, outside the church, in the community, and so forth. And God said you're a stumbling block to my people. See, because when the pastor, hallelujah, is a stumbling block, when he's teaching in error and just letting you do whatever you do and not calling seeing out because he's participating in everything that's ungodly and unholy. Hmm, uh-huh. So then he can't say too much about this or that. Hallelujah. Then he's leading all the people to the pit of hell. 
And God said, you a stumbling block. And that preacher going to get beat with many stripes. Hallelujah. Ah, the Bible is right and somebody's wrong. I know it's tight. Hallelujah. Ah, the Bible declares here also. Hallelujah. I'll give you one more scripture and we're going to roll it away. Mm. Hallelujah. The Bible declared in Matthew 23, 13. Hmm? But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against me. For ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering in. Just a facade, a bunch of hypocrites. Going to church on Sunday morning and doing every damnable thing they big enough to do. And some are so gullible that they going along with it. And they all, the Bible said, a blind lead the blind, and they all fall into the ditch. And I tell you, Zion, I know you want to go to heaven because you're here on this live with me. But you need to share it to your sister and brother and cousin and auntie and uncle and grandpa and grandma that's being tricked by many of these false prophets. God said, hallelujah, they got to come down. Got to come down because they leading the people astray. And God hates that. He hates for you to be a stumbling block for his people. Ah, oh, my God. He wants us to be blameless, huh? He wants us to be spotless, Zion. Hallelujah. He wants us to be spotless. Oh, my Lord, my time is out. Hallelujah. I'm not going to complete it. Hallelujah. He wants us to be spotless. Hallelujah. He wants us to have meekness, patience, huh? He wants us to be in fastings and prayer with sincerity, long suffering, huh? Ah, the Bible is right. Hallelujah. Mm. Oh my God, Zion. We have to do it according to the scripture, huh? We have to do it according to the scripture. By the word of truth, by the power of God, by the arm of righteousness on the right hand and on the left. We got to put on the whole arm. <laughs> The whole armor of God. Zion, I have so much more. Hallelujah. Ah, but my time is out. Be sure to join us next week. We talk about the marks of faithful ministry. Huh? You got to do it God's way. All and everything else, the shenanigans, is not God's way. And he called them hypocrites. Hmm? A form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. He says, from such, turn away. I love you this morning. I pray something has been said to encourage you to have a closer walk of God. May the sweet communion of God rest, rule, and abide with you henceforth now forevermore as you continue to follow him on the journey of holiness and obtain the marks of of a faithful ministry. Till next time, Pastor Val signing off saying I love you. Shalom. Bye-bye. Be safe.